joined now by Derek Pitts, the chief astronomer at the Franklin Institute. Derek, always good to see you. Thanks for having Katie me. Katie mentioned a little bit in our region, we're going to see a partial eclipse, but I want more. What exactly? What exactly will we see in Philadelphia in the tri state area? Because we're off the path of totality, like she said, mm -hmm. it's a partial eclipse. 80%, about 80% of the sun's disk will be covered. So for us, we're not really going to see very much. We wouldn't be able to tell that an eclipse is happening because that 20% that's visible of the sun, yeah. it's just as bright as the rest of the sun. And so if you didn't know it was happening, you wouldn't know it was happening. Really? So what you have to do is you have to get yourself a way of observing the progress that's not damaging to the eyes. So as she had the glasses, if you have the proper kind of eye protective wear, you can look directly at the progress of the moon as it passes between the Earth and the sun. Mm -hmm. and you can do it indirectly too. Uh, you can use what's called a pinhole projector where you just punch a hole in a... The old school way. The old school way, yes, yes, right? Yes. And you can project an image of the eclipse happening on another white sheet of paper and then that way you can see the moon as it progresses uh, across the disk of the sun. Now Fantastic. they said it's been, what, 99 years since this has happened before, but when's the last time we were able to view it right here in Philadelphia? Well, this is a really interesting thing. As it turns out, this particular eclipse that goes all the way across the country, that was about 100 years ago when that happened, yes. The last eclipse in the United States was 1979, total eclipse, not here. Mm. The last eclipse in Philadelphia? When? 1478. I covered that. You what? did. <laughs> no. You look good. <laughs> You're looking pretty good. <laughs>